Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a stock which has given up a stellar performance in the market. So which is nothing but your uh, Shakti pumps. So this is not a stock competition by any means. I'm just trying to compare up another stock which is uh, uh, expected to trend in the market, which is in the same business vertical as your Shakti pumps. So all of us would have known about the uh, market status of uh, Shakti pumps. You could have seen that the last one year's performance of this stock is over 400%. So we're going to look into another stock which is into the same business vertical as this and uh, which is also possible to give up a performance as good as the Shakti pumps. So there's a breakout expected on this stock. Um, currently the stock is under consolidation. So uh, the stock that we are going to talk about on discuss in today's stock pick is going to be uh, Roto pumps. So if you notice this stock, you could see that the uh, past one year's the CAGR is uh, the past one year's performance is about 57%. And Shakti Pumps has a score roughly about 400%. So is this Shakti uh, Rotor Pumps really going to be a trendsetter in the market? Is it going to be like really booming in the market? So we'll compare it up with some status here. And uh, you'll be seeing that in today's uh, date as of uh, 16th October, you'll be able to see that stock has closed at a price of about uh, 550 points. And uh, you could see that this company is into the production of pumps. So it's the same business vertical as um, your Shakti Pumps and alright so coming to Rotor Pumps so this company is there in existing since 1968 so, and they have been pioneers in making up your progressive cavity pumps so which means they are uh, very uh, prominent in the um, uh, wastewater uh, pumping out uh, they are into uh, sugar industry, paper industry, paint industry almost all the industries that are listed out here you will be able to see the whole list of uh, uh, industries they are serving they are also into marine and defense sector as well and uh, the company is also exporting to over 50 countries and the head office is there in currently Noida and uh, these are some of the uh, company's past one year performance you'll be able to see that the company uh, had up a very good run up and it went all the way till um, 706 during uh, 4th of July and then after which uh, the stock uh, went under a consolidation or I would say that uh, it went on a correction so the now stock is trading over 25% uh, less than its uh, all time high value. So now the price is in fact uh, under the 50 DMA. So once the price breaks out over 50 DMA, there's a possibility of run up on the stock and this will definitely uh, break out this 706 points. I repeatedly say this is not a stock recommendation. We're just going to see the different parameters or analysis of the stock and see how this is going to perform in the market. And once this breakouts over the 50 DMA, then there is definitely a run up which is going to go until this uh, all time high value. It will try to uh, break that, it will try to test that value. It may again come down. After the second time correction, it will definitely boost up and it will break up these values and try going up even further higher. And uh, if you happen to compare it with um, the uh, company's uh, stock PE, the PE is about 48%. Uh, and uh, the company is also good in paying up dividends too and um, you could see the ROCE is 24% and the ROE is like 21%. The company showed up a great progress during this first week of 4th of July and after which the stock went on a downtrend. You could see here in this advanced chart uh, the stock underwent a downtrend here and it is uh, after which a dividend they gave a dividend on last month of uh, September and then it came down. And after which is again starting to uh, climb up here, it will come here to test on this uh, all time high value and then it may break out that value. And the stock went, uh, it's not in uh, the over uh, bought zone, it is in a safe uh, RSA value now and it went all the way down till your uh, 30 range and then the buying started up, it uh, really started picking up there and from then it is again um, trying to test its all time high value. And if you note that here, the uh, MACD is also showing up a better uh, value here. The uh, MACD is trying to um, show positive signs here. So the possibility of the stock to trend higher or to break out these uh, all time high values is like really higher. So let's see the fundamentals of this company. And if you happen to see the fundamentals of this company, um, so the total revenue of this company for the past few financial years are listed out here. You could see that it is always in a higher end here and the um, profit uh, the EPS is somewhere between 12.47 so coming to the financials of this company you'll be able to see the operating property of this company in this uh, June quarter is uh, 12 and uh, their um, OPM percent is like 20 percent and the uh, PBT is 7.7 uh, .7. and the uh, profit value declined here in this quarter so after this announcement came up the stock went on a downtrend it started up the correction it went down by 25 percent 
and then this next quarter once the results are posted out there are high possibilities of the stock to break out the all time high value and uh, if you happen to see the um, profit and loss as well you will be able to see uh, till this date it is like always in a higher trend here you'll be able to see that the uh, profit before tax is like again going up higher here so the net profit is also trying to increase here and this company has been a really uh, good company when it comes to one historical record the compounded sales growth is over 12% for the past 10 years the past 3 years it shows 29% the profit growth is again 29% the stock cagr is also over 55% and the roe is uh, again 22 to 23% so the stock is a really good stock is a gem of a stock in its sector and uh, let's find out some other details in comparison with the industry uh, leading stock which is your sakti palms we'll see a comparative study of both of the stock so you could see here in this uh, screen the market cap is a pretty small company so there's a small cap company which is uh, coming under uh, 2000 crores and the roe is like almost similar to of uh, sakti palms and um, the face value is uh, reduced now after the stock split and uh, you could see that the pe ratio is again 40 and 46 so it's almost same like your shakti pumps and the roc is again uh, 24 and uh, 23 so it's almost a match of your uh, uh, shakti pumps the dividend yield is better here and uh, the industry uh, pe ratio is like 67 so when compared to that the ratio 40 and 46 is still better when compared to this still there is run up available in the stock so there are a lot of possibilities of the stock to trend even higher than this then um, we could see that um, the debt to equity ratio is like bit higher here and the peg ratio here is the only issue here so the peg ratio is something uh, the uh, price to earnings ratio that's one which has to be always under 1 or a max of 1.5 so here it is somewhere around 7.3 so that's the only negative thing here and uh, once the quarter results are out this is automatically uh, subjected to change and this will definitely give up a higher uh, peg ratio on these and if you compare the uh, roe of both of these stocks you'll be able to see there is a great uh, averaged out value on um, roto pumps and then you could see the profit margin of uh, both these companies too and uh, if you happen to see the eps value comparison of both of these you could see that this is definitely on a better upward trend than your shakti pumps and um, the last one month's return of both of these stock you could be seeing that like this has fallen up still lesser when compared to your shakti pumps and the uh, one year average is not as so great as your shakti pumps and um, the three years and five years average is like still all about because the company is pretty new and uh, we'll just wait for a uh, few more uh, trading sessions to see if the stock is able to break out the 50 dma and we'll able to see if this is trying to gain up momentum currently the uh, price momentum is lagging on this stock so once that is gained up the stock will automatically start rocketing up this and when comparing with the net sales of this in comparison with shakti pumps it's still lower when compared to shakti pumps but again it is even better like it's still a better company when compared with all the other companies in this particular sector i'll leave a link to this you'll be able to see the comparative uh, study of both of these stocks and you can evaluate like how this is still better and uh, roto pumps also still had the uh, decline in the uh, fii holdings that again got reduced this quarter and uh, besides that everything seems to be uh, fairly well shakti pumps got a run up because of the fii and dii participation still the dii participation is not there in roto pumps so once the dii catches up this uh, stock the stock will definitely rocket up it is going to be the next shakti pumps that will automatically uh, scale up or it will gain up traction it will automatically increase up in the uh, market um, cap as well as in the price of the stock so here is another comparison of uh, shakti pumps as well as your roto pumps you could see that uh, this stock is uh, having a profit on this quarter is like considerably reduced and that's the reason for the stock to fail and the petroski score of this stock is like really good and is in fact even better than your uh, shakti pumps so that is one of the key factors that helps you to evaluate a stock or how it is going to perform or be stable in the market so that is definitely there in the stock and uh, technical wise the company is like really good and it is uh, definitely catching up that the stocks rsi is like fairly uh, priced and uh, the macd is still uh, not showing up greater progress so once this is ordered out it will automatically take up the rally and um, in this chart you will be able to see the uh, financial statements of this company so the company has got assets over 175 crores and uh, the liability is automatically getting reduced here and um, the company is uh, 
profits are definitely increasing up here. If you see the income statement here, the total revenues have automatically increased up and uh, the net income is almost uh, till date for this financial quarter is uh, almost catching up with your last financial year and the EPS is also increasing up. The company still doesn't hold anything from your uh, FIIs and there is no participation from DIIs or from mutual fund. So if a mutual fund company or a DIA picks up the stock then this is definitely going to uh, take up into higher places or this could be your next Shakti pumps. So if you notice here that this is the stock of your Shakti pumps, I have put the one day average here. So the stock has closed at 550 and um, this is the, uh, the stock is uh, trading in an uh, upper trend. So the trend line of this is like definitely on a bullish trend and the stock is definitely going up into uh, higher places and it was crossing up this range. It took a breakout here and after this breakout, this automatically rocketed up here. It went to an all time high here, making up 742. And after that the results came up, the stock went on a downtrend, it is currently at this location. So if I put a moving average here, so if I enable the uh, moving average, you can still see that uh, the stock is on a consolidation here for the past few months and uh, now it is trying to gain momentum and once it uh, crosses up uh, these uh, 20 day and 50 day moving average, it will automatically start rocketing. And, um, And you could see that still it is there in the RSA channel. The RSA channel, you could see that the stock is still there in this channel. It is very much expected to, to go till this place. So you are definitely going to get about 15 to 20% of growth. After which once it breaks out this all time high value, then it is uh, going to be non-stop. Then that will definitely go for 100, 200% of growth. As easy as that. So the company has backed up recent orders, about 12 crores. And uh, there are a few orders which are there in pipeline as well from the company. So they are also expected to, to add up uh, growth as well as momentum to the company. So if you are looking out to buy this stock, then this would be the right time for the stock. In fact, this was the best time when the stock was on a correction when the RSA was absolutely at the mid level. And now that the stock is gaining momentum, it's the right time for you to get into it. And uh, again, I repeat, this is not a stock recommendation. This is just a comparison video between uh, Shakti as well as Rotor Pumps. So do your due diligence before buying the stock and just try to get into the positions on the stock and you can try seeing out if this could turn out to a multi-bagger. And uh, if you feel that this is, could be the next multi-bagger stock, do leave your comments below and uh, do share this video with your friends who are a stock market enthusiast or who are into operational trading and they could also get benefited from this. And uh, I'll catch you up in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Thank you.